Situated cognition. According to Alan Collins, situated cognition or situated learning is the notion of learning knowledge and skills in contexts that reflect the way they will be used in real life. This concept encourages educators to place their students in an environment that is as similar as possible to the context in which their learning will actually be used. In an example of contextualized learning, students who are learning to play the flute not only practice basic skills, such as how to blow smoothly or leave fingers off the holes, but they watch and listen to experts performing those skills and playing the flute. They also get expert coaching and practice as much as they can. Jean Lave and Etienne Wenger are recognized as leaders in the situated cognition movement. They describe learning as, first of all, generative. That is, as an act of creation or co-creation. They also see learning as social or occurring in partnership with others. Finally, Lave and Winger describe learning as occurring in the lived-in world, which means that it takes place in settings that make what is learned more relevant useful and transferable. Also, according to Lave and Winger, dynamic communities of practice are seen as a critical element of situated cognition. Learning in such communities involves teachers, students, and others, such as experts from the school, the business and local community, and the electronic world community. The members of the community may assume various roles as learning occurs. For example, a student may become a teacher as he or she coaches others in the group during the learning process. Collins identified four benefits of using situated cognition as a learning model. First, students learn about the conditions for applying knowledge. Second, students are more likely to engage in invention and problem solving when involved in situated cognition. Third, students can see the implications of the knowledge they have gained and fourth, as students are using their knowledge in context, they are supported in structuring knowledge in ways appropriate to later use.